All right, so I'm always talking about how you want to work with the dog and the breed's natural instincts, right? So if you're working with a herder, it's a tough thing to channel, right? They, <clears throat> prey drive has multiple components. So to stalk, chase, pounce, bite, kill, and disembowel. Those are different elements that comprise um, dog's predatory instinct. In some breeds, aspects of prey drive have been enhanced and other aspects have been diminished. So with Mr. Uh, Sheldon the Sheltie here, <clears throat> he doesn't have a super high instinctual, instinctual urge to bite. And certainly not to disembowel, but he does chase, stalk, pounce, and that's typical with most herders because they didn't want them to hurt, you know, the livestock. So nip at their heels maybe, mainly, you know, like border collies and do a lot of stalking. <clears throat> so what do you do with that? Because they're not gonna tug, right? Well, flirt pull is best, so this'll be, I'll do another one with a flirt pull. It's the same thing. You just have to chase it around, okay? Um, so, you know, I wanna just give it a little quick demo with, for, for Allie's owner, the type of thing that I've been doing with him as much as possible to start the day. And I do it in my backyard a lot, but we're moving towards full off leash now. So, um, you know, I feel confident with him off leash, so we'll just do it off leash today. Um, and uh, keep a tab on him. But that's it. So this will be my, my defect under here. I'll make it longer with this. Make it a little bit more visually salient. And you're channeling that herding instinct, okay? This is critical. This is like the thing that I probably believe most in training is work with the dog's instincts. Um, base reward system off that and you really it's an end unto itself because behavioral problems are usually manifest from a lack of having a place to put those those instinctual urges right it's like not to be cruel but it's like imagine if you didn't have sex for like 10 years you, you know what I mean like strong innate urge and you got no place to put it well you're gonna get in some weird shit. So that was, that's what was going on with him. All right, let's get this start. What are you getting? Come. You know, like, this isn't a real flirt pull, but it might as well be. You can put it high and low, side to side, whatever. Fix it up so the dog doesn't get bored. Higher is harder. some owners can do it's not too taxing you know I'm running around a little bit but you really watch Yep. 
All right, so like, just a good way to start their day, okay? This is exercise, but it's also uh, an instinctual outlet. So, uh, before, rather than film all the boring obedient shit, I'm not gonna use this as a reward. <clears throat> Train, do some recall work, whatever. But, look, give them an outlet. You know, if you had a kid who was a prodigy musician, right? And you were like, Johnny, you gotta be the quarterback. You know, <laughs> he's gonna be pretty unhappy. But this is way deeper than that. These, these are like, um, they're almost like fixed action patterns, you know? Like the motor patterns that like animals are born with. It's almost that deep and intense of an urge for these guys that have been bred for work and that are more higher dry, which, which he is, I don't know. I think that's pretty obvious. Um, he just doesn't have the urge to fight. So simulating uh, something for him to herd is critical. So Al, you can do this, this is easy. Especially, he's, he's trustworthy off leash, so just gotta find a place to do it, so. Channel instinct, number one thing.